We want to find the limit as x approaches 0 of this function. So first we're going to do this algebraically. And in order to do it algebraically, we need to know two facts. First, that the limit as x approaches a of x to the n minus a to the n over x minus a is equal to n times a to the n minus 1. And the limit as x approaches 0 of e of the x minus 1 over x is equal to 1. Now, just to convince you about the first fact, I can rewrite x to the n minus a to the n as x minus a times x to the n minus 1 plus a times x to the n minus 2 plus a squared x to the n minus 3 all the way up to a to the n minus 2 times x plus a to the n minus 1. Now we want to divide this by x minus a so these are going to cancel and so if I let x equal a because remember x is approaching a so if I let x equal a I'm left with a to the n minus 1 plus a times a to the n minus 2 plus a squared times a to the n minus 3 all the way up to a to the n minus 2 times a plus a to the n minus 1. Now notice that these are all n terms. And each of these terms, if I multiply, I get a to the n minus 1. So I'm really adding up a to the n minus 1 n times. And so that's how we get n times a to the n minus 1. Okay, now this limit here, we have to use L'Hopital's rule. So you take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. And notice that e to the x over e to the x is just 1. So this is just the same thing as taking the limit as x approaches 0 of 1. And that's going to be 1. Okay. Now let's proceed. I'm going to break this up. So the negative 9 is just negative 8 minus 1. And notice here, I have the e to the x minus 1 over x. So split that up into this limit. And now my goal is to get this expression into x to the n minus a to the n over x minus a. So the way to do this is to um, rewrite x as x plus 4 minus 4. And now we can make a substitution if we let u equal x plus 4. As x approaches 0, u is going to approach x plus 4. But x approaches 0, so u is going to approach 4. Basically, you just replace x with 0 here and you get u equals 4. So I'm going to rewrite my limit now in terms of u. So instead of x approaching 0, we have u approaching 4. And then x plus 4 becomes u. So I want, in this case, u to the n minus a to the n over u minus a. So I have to rewrite 8 as a to the n. Well, n here has to be 3 halves. Basically, you have 8 equals a to the 3 halves. And you want to solve for a. Well, to do this, you can raise both sides by 2 thirds. So this cancels. you left with a. And then you can just do the cube root of 8 is 2, squared is 4. So we know that a is going to be 4, n is 3 halves. So we can rewrite it like this. And now we use the fact that this limit will be n times a to the n minus 1 where n is the exponent, which is 3 halves, and a is the base of this number, which is 4. So that becomes 3 halves times 4 raised to the 3 halves minus 1, which I simplify to just 1 half. Now 4 to the 1 half is 2. We have 3 halves times 2 plus 1. The 2's cancel, and 3 plus 1 is 4. So that's our limit. Now we can do this a different way. We can recognize that this is the definition of derivative. 
So I'm going to define the function to be x plus 4 to the 3 halves plus e to the x. And note that f of 0 is equal to 9. So this really, I can transform this into, well, the limit definition at x equals 0. Because right, it's in this form. f of x is our function, f of 0 is 9. And then the denominator, we have x minus 0. So really, we could just take the derivative of our function, which is 3 halves times x plus 4 raised to the 1 half power, plus e to the x. And then I could plug in x equals 0 here and get 4 as my answer. And so that is my answer.